Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations and I'm back with another video. I've had a lot of time to craft and I got a bunch of new things this weekend so I wanted to um, go ahead and use some of them maybe. I don't think I used anything new in this card but that's okay. My co-worker on Friday asked me if I could make a birthday card for her mother and she told me that her mom likes sunflowers and shopping. So um, the lady that I work with is She's very cute. She's always very well dressed. So I decided to go with the shopping thing and see what would work, see what would happen from there. So um, let's get started. This is an eight and a half by five and a half piece of Melon Mambo by Stampin' Up. We're gonna fold it in half. So we'll have five and a half by four and a quarter. And my bone folder is in a bag upstairs. I just went to a workshop with my demonstrator, so that's upstairs. That's why I'm using that one. And then this pattern piece of paper right here, let me get the stack for you to show you, is from the Die Cuts with a View, the Glitzy Glitter Stack. And I got this from Michael's um, last weekend, or maybe two, a couple weekends ago, whatever, it was on sale. And it's, it's just really nice glitter paper, so it doesn't come off with your hands, so you, there's nothing on my hands. So let me just show you. So I, we used this one right here, we're going to use this one. They give you three or four sheets of each one, so it's really nice. It's just really nice quality. Look, it just feels really nice, so I like it. So this layer is four by five and a quarter, and then this orange is the same as that red that I used from the You Brighten My Day stamp set the other day, and that is from the Creamy cardstock by Die Cuts with a View, and it's just got a lot of really bright colors. I these are really nice looking. I, I, don't know, I love, I just love the feeling of it. Just like in the uh, you brighten my day card. So anyway, that is three and three quarters by five. So we're gonna go ahead and layer the orange and the pattern paper together. And we're going to use this pattern paper in our Cricut cut today. Now, for my image, I used Forever Young, and I used this um, girl right here. She's model number three, so she's the third button. I cut her out at um, four and three quarters, and here she is. So her background is black, and then that's this first layer right here, and then the shift layer is her dress, and that's in that pattern paper that we that we use for the, the layer. And then the layer, regular layer, is green. So I used Old Olive from Stampin' Up! And I cut out the purse, the back of the flower, and the little dot in the middle, which you could cut out with a different color, I guess, but I just did it in the black, or I'm sorry, in the green. And then there's a little flower layer on the shift, and that's that, and then it also cuts her necklace out, too. And that, like I said, was cut at four and three quarters, and it's on page 26. And we also cut out the mirror, you find it, and this is on page 48, and I cut it out at three and three quarters, and here's the mirror. I cut the first image out in black, so that's this one right here with the background, and then this layer right here, the shift, was in the old olive by Stampin' Up, and then this, on the layer function key, the the non-shifted image, I cut it out in the brushed silver by Stampin' Up! so it looked a little bit more like a mirror. Now there is mirror paper out there that's it's really shiny and look kind of reflects, but I thought this one looked fine. And I think I do have another sheet, a piece of paper of the other stuff, but I liked that, so I used that. And then this little shift tiny layer right here is the flower on top. So then I just layered that all together with my Zig 2A pen. And our stamp set today is Kate Andrew Designs. I've never talked about her before, but I have two of her stamp sets and I think they're really cute. Um, she's got a couple more that I'd like to get. But we use the one called um, Fashionable Friends. And a proceed of her stamp, every one of her stamp sets goes to a specific charity. So this one goes to Cancer Angels. So she's got a bunch of different ones. So every time you buy something from her, um, 
part of her profits will go to a different charity. Now we're going to use this one that says from one fashionista to another. I thought that that was really cute. So you can go to kandrewdesigns.com um, to buy her stamps. I'm going to use Basic Black by Stampin' Up. Ink it up. And then we're going to stamp right in the middle. that aside. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the ribbon on here and I just learned how to make a double bow watching a video from YouTube um, and I can put a link in my video to her video if you want to try and make your own double bow. I'm just going to show you really quickly how she showed us how to do it. Um, and her video is better, but you wrap, you take the ribbon, you wrap it over these two fingers, and you come around, go under, and I'm going to give myself a little bit more, go around, under, then loop it over, like, and then under, and then over again, and then the ribbon comes back here between the holes of your fingers, And then you're going to pull this around. And I hope I left myself enough room. And then it's going to tuck under that one you just wrapped around. And go to that side. And then you're going to pull on it. And tighten it. And then you slip them off your fingers. And then there you have a double bow. So I it took me several attempts to figure out how to do it, but I wanted to try it for this card because I um, see it all the time on this one lady's blog who I absolutely love. And so I wanted to try it so I could be like her. <laughs> uh, so then we're going to take and we're just going to wrap it around. So I'm going to cut some of the extra off and try and tweak it so that the, the, the nice size on the front. I just pull it a little bit. Okay. We're going to cut some off. And then I'm going to use my tape and I'm just going to wrap it around the bottom of the cart. So I'm going to take my tape and we're going to put it about right here. And wrap. And like I said, I'll put the link to her tutorial so you can try it, because I know I didn't go very thorough into that. So there's our bow. Now we're going to take pop dots and we're going to pop up our images and it's going to go like this. So her foot's going to come behind this bow. We're going to put her like just looking into the mirror. So we'll need, I'm going to put a bunch of pop dots on the back. And I'm going to go ahead and put some pop dots on the back of her and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so this is what I did with the pop dots. I put um, some little ones, I, cut, I took one and I cut it up and put some on the thin parts of her so that she would still be kind of um, stable. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to pop her down right about here. And then her legs are going to be onto the ribbon. So the one leg is behind the bow that we made and we put on. And then I'm going to take my two-way and I'm just going to take the little, the little stand part of the mirror, I'm going to put some glue on that and just glue it down to the card so that it stays. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is take a rhinestone, these are from Stampin' Up! and I'm going to take and I'm going to put one on her little necklace right in the middle, give her some extra blank, and then 
I'm going to take the lime green stickles and I'm going to cover her purse. And then I'm going to go around the edge of the mirror. Okay, now the very last thing that we're going to do is put on some buttons, and I've already picked some out on my table somewhere. And they are the Raspberry Fizz buttons by Paper Tray Ink. And I picked two of their smaller to medium sized ones. I'm going to just put them on with a glue dot. I'm going to take them and put them right here up in the corner. So there's one, and then there's the other one. Yeah. I don't want to get any stickles. Okay, now of course you're going to have to give it some time to dry because stickles does take a little bit of time to dry and I put a lot of it on here. So anyway, we're going to put some, you should have done all of that after you put your layer on and I apparently forgot that I didn't finish my part up. So we're going to go ahead and put the tape runner on that and then stick the card down. So don't make that mistake like I just did. Make sure you put your layers down before you put your stickles on. But we all make mistakes. I know I do all the time. So we'll just get that down. And there. There's the outside of my card. I'll show you the inside of the one that I made for my coworker's mom. I just stamped happy birthday and that, that was from close to my heart. Um so anyway, there you go. I hope you're inspired to create, and I think I love the glitz and the glitter on this, and I think it'd be perfect um, just to send to a friend, and you could put, you know, thinking of you or any other kind of thing on the inside, or maybe you want to see them or something. So anyway, I hope you get some inspiration. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye!